Oktagon se konečně vrací do nejtvrdšího města republiky, Ostravy. A hlavní zápas nemůže obstarat nikdo jiný než nespochybnitelný král veltrové váhy. V Oktagonu neporažený a nejdéle panující šampion David Růžový Panter Kozma. V Ostravě jsem doma, těším se na to hodně, budu tam mít svoje známé a v Ostravě zapasím prostě nejradši. A ten zápas budu 100% vyhrát. Ten se utká se svou Nemezis, která ho už jednou porazila. Legendou Petrem Monstrem Knížetem. Já jsem tady byl toho, abych si vzal to, co mi patří. Myslím si, že budeme koukat. Chci napravit to, co jsem pokazil. Chci ho porazit a chci ukázat, že jsou lepší zapasník než on. Monstr Kleci vám ukáže titulovou bitvu, na kterou nezapomenete. Vždy je to tak trochu osobní. V tomhle případě je to hodně osobní. Konečně se dočkáme duelu Babi Jagy Mikuláška se slovenským tvrdákem Tomášem Bolem Melišem. Účty budou splaceny. Když to bude v postoji, tak ho sekněm. Když to bude na zemi, tak ho jednoducho ubijem. Ani jako, že pojďáme si na hubu a pak budeme kamarádi. Ne, nebudem. Já s tobou nechci být kamarád. Což Chris a ta strana? Buď mu utrhnem ruku, nohu, alebo jednoducho mu odkročím hlavu. Živě na octagon.tv Diamantový čávo Pukač versus Christian Jungwirth. Zápas to si určitě nenechajte ujist. Asi žádný ze zahraničních bojovníků si nezískal srdce tolika českých a slovenských fanoušků jako právě Christian Jungwirth. Christian je ten typ bojovníka, který za každou cenu v kleci předvede skvělou podívanou. Tak tohle je bitva, úplně naplno, teď trefuje zase Jungwirth. To platilo i o jeho posledním duelu s Andrejem Kalašníkem, kterému vzdoroval v čistém škrcení desítky vteřin. To je neuvěřitelné, jak Jungir bojuje. Sám byl z toho výsledku úplně zdrvený a prosil nás, dajte mi zápas, musím všetkým ukázat, že jsem větší bojovník. Teď se proti němu prostě vydobo pukač. Z 25 zápasů své kariéry dokázal Diamantový Čávo vyhrát 15, ale v poslední době se jeho kariéra zasekla a byť prohrál často velmi těsně, 4 z 5 posledních duelů neskončily v jeho prospěch. Avšak ta posledná byla mimořádně těsná, dokonce ho sám a mnohými fanoušikovi ho viděli jako vítěze. Myslím si, že já jsem o mnohem blížší ukončení, myslím si, že tu nohu může hovořit, že chce zajít se nepostaví. Bude si chtít napravit chuť, tvrdou trénuje, stále se zlepšuje, pracuje na svém postoji a na všech technikách, aby dokázal, že patří mezi špičku československého MMA. Toto je zápas, kdy si robu. Ani Kristian níž nedali, půjdu do posledného dýku a velmi pravděpodobně uvidíme nádhernou trojkolovou bitvu. Pukač versus Jungvik. And he was administered some medication today to make sure that he could come here and fight. So he's he's feeling it. He's got a big, big, big problem with the back, but he's here to put on a show for the Octagon fans. 
Certainly looking forward to seeing him step inside there. Both of these have similar stories as well. They feel that like they can't even buy some luck in the cage. He felt like he won the Mirash Brosh fight. He really should have felt that that decision should have gone his way. He felt like he just made one mistake in the uh, in the Kalashnik fight, and he re he said that wasn't a fight. To me, I don't even class that as a fight. And tonight, I want to show all the fans, all the Octagon fans that have shown me so much love, exactly what level fighter I am. And now we get to set sets to welcome Slovakia's own Bratislava's own Robert Diamanti Shavo Pukac. This man has got a huge following, and rightly so, a phenomenal record. 15 and 9, eight finishes within there. His last fight as well, he really felt he and he put a statement out to the effect that he felt that he beat Juracek. He felt he did more damage. He controlled the pace of the fight, and you could argue it either way. It was a very close split decision. But tonight, he says, look, both of us, both of us want to win this fight to re-establish ourselves, to, to really get some momentum behind us so that the fans know, the other fights in the welterweight know, division know that they've got a real test if they come up against us. Yeah, and he, you know, he was one of the rising stars early on in mixed martial arts. Everyone thought that Robert Pukash was going to be the guy. The guy to come out of the, the region, region here in Bratislava, unfortunately had a lot of troubles with the injuries, took like a break for about three years, on and off, back, knee, shoulder, lots of different problems. And because of that, he kind of missed the boom of the sport. And then he returned when Octagon came and, and has kind of feel, feels like he's been catching up ever since. And like you said, this fight for him is an establishing moment. He feels like he comes in here and he takes out Christian, you know, in impressive fashion. He's gonna put, you know, put respect on his name here in Slovakia. And uh, he's coming in here with a record of one and four in his last fight, but you look at who he's fought, Luke. He's fought the cream of the crop. Christofic, Juracek, Mati Kerteshi, we'll see in our main event later on this evening. He's not fighting cans, bums. He's out there testing himself at the highest level against the highest level fighters. Set and ready to kick off what many are calling the people's main event here in the X Bionic Sphere for Octagon Prime 5. We have Robert Pukac taking on Christian the Kelt Youngworth. We look at the tail of the tape here, height and reach, pretty much identical experience, slightly on the side of Pukac. Six years the younger as well is the Bratislava. Now let's hand it to the man in the middle, the one, the only, Mr. Andre Novotny. Dámy a pánové, toto je hlavní zápas, první prelim z karty, veltrová váha, tři kola po pěti minutách, vaším rozhodčím v oktagonu bude Pablo Picante Touš. Pojďme si představit oba muže nejprve, modrý roh. 35 let, 181 cm, 77,5 setin kg na váze. Kong Jim pod trenérem Dimasem, Oliverem Majerem a Dimou Azambuzianem. Má na svém kontě 14 zápasů, 9 vítězství z toho 3 KO a 5 porážek. V rámci Neruda Cupu za dluhopis tečka EU a v modrém rohu dnes večer za Německo The Kelt! Christian Junger! Červený roh. 29 let. 180 cm. 77,35 kg na váze. Octagon Fighting Academy po trenéry Iliouš Kondričem a Ikosem Ibrahimovem. 21 zápasů. 15 vítězství a 8 ukončení před limitem, 9 porážek za Singa tým v rámci Neruda Cupu, ale také a především v červeném rohu dnes večer za Slovensko diamantový čávo! Five minutes, only five rules. Fight active, fight fair. Can you go out? Oh, wait, please. Crowd going crazy for this one here, <laughs> we Brian. Were, we both just had the hairs on the back of our neck. Stand up. 
Andre Novotny really launching this another level as we get set to open up this welterweight contest. Christian the Kelt Youngworth, white shorts, blue corner. Diamante Chave, Robert Pukac, red corner, black shorts. Wow. Real energy about this fight before it's even begun. And for me, when I jump back and I watch the, uh, the fight with Robert Pukac and Jan Malak, it was his takedown to set up the Kimura that really impressed me. And if you watch back that last fight with Youngworth, there seemed to be a little hole in his game as far as that ground knowledge. Maybe Robert Pukac will look to expose that. Yeah, Youngworth patient here at the moment, switching between the southpaw and orthodox stance, but not really throwing anything too offensive as he gets stalked down by Pukac. There's a lot about these fighters as well. They're both willing to take this fight when they're in the positions they are in the division. They're both very aware that there's a lot of red in their record over the last five fights. But these, these are the tests that will really catapult them back into the, uh, the talk of the top ten. Oof, nice straight right to the body there from Youngworth. Goes high with a kick, does Youngworth respond, Bukac. Nice jab there, Pukac said that's his favorite weapon to work from as well. Uses it so well. And bearing up his strikes, going high, going line, not, not nice body kick on the outside. Oh. Oh, big right hand right in front of us here as well. Amazing thing about Christian Youngworth as well. Only started compete, only started training MMA age 28, competing age 29, Luke. It's phenomenal to see the level he's getting. He had some background in boxing, but to, to master all the arts and to become competent at least. In More all than of them. competent here. Yeah, he exactly. Throws that right head kick that lands quite well. They're definitely a little less busy, though, as Youngworth. Robert Pukac, you know, Although he's on the outside and he's fighting off the back foot, he's throwing more shots. Nice inside leg kick he goes to again, deep to the body. The output's really high from, uh, from Pukac. And they're all shots to keep Youngworth at bay as well. Teeps to the midsection, like you said. Work that lead leg, that jab as well, coming in, working the right hand off of that. But Youngworth looks like he's headhunting here. Oof. Nice variation. He's been going double jab right hand a few times. Switches up, goes double jab, uppercut with that right side. Nice shoulder stroke. Good movement, though, to get off the fence. Well, thus far, the back not bothering Youngworth. Seems like he's in pretty, pretty loose. Yeah, he's been yearning for this moment ever since that loss. He was set to fight Farkash. He asked for a fight straight after. Four weeks later, he was set to step in, but Farkash had to withdraw due to illness the day of the fight. I feel like Youngworth's just bullying oh. Farkash around the cage as he lands that right hand, stalking his man. Throwing the right hand high, now throwing it low to the body again. Nice feint. And Youngworth cuts the cage off well. Yeah, seems to be controlling that centre very well and, and, and not being too bothered. I feel like uh, Pukash needs to earn the respect of Youngworth. He needs to land something big. At the moment, everything's not phasing him. He's just kind of walking through it. Oh, Ooh. that's a chopping, chopping rear kick to the midsection there to Pukash. One minute, 15 seconds left in this. And Look at the eyes of Youngworth as well. He really is zoned in, targeting on his prey. Yeah, I can't take my eyes off it because it feels like it could end at any moment. Nice little feint there from the southpaw stance, going with that left hand. Smothers his work a little bit too much. Yeah, Pukac reverses. He's got the underhooks. Let's see if he goes for a trip. Yeah, going for that inside reap. Doesn't quite get it. Goes again for the outside one. But power from Youngworth. Shrugs his man off. And back to work. Oh, they both connected there. Nice right hand just glanced across the uh, the jaw of, of Pukac and he responded with a heavy left. Yeah, referee hindered my vision a little bit there. Get out of the way. Come on, <laughs> I'm trying to watch this fight. <laughs> Varying it up now is Youngworth, but he just seems to be controlling the, the, the fight so well. This is pressure, right? He's, he's in your face every single second of the round. Oh, nice takedown. Look at the timing on that great get-up, though. And again, the trip, the reap. 
straight back to his feet as the 10 second clack he goes. Arkate do takedowns too, Youngworth <laughs> says as he goes in for that double leg. High and oh, low. Interesting first round. first round. Very Woo. interesting. Now, sometimes the anticipation of the fight, the fight doesn't quite live up to it, but this is, is hotting up. We are at boiling point. The pressure at the end there, the takedown as well from Pukach. The urgency for the stand-up says it all from Youngworth. Yeah, he, you know, very good reactive wrestling. As soon as he touched the ground, he got straight back up. On the feet, he's not throwing as much as Pukach. We see here now, early in the rounds. But he's on the front foot a lot He's of the always time. on the front foot, and he threw for a, hopefully we see a beautiful body kick as well. Probably the, you know, the biggest landing shot. There's a nice body shot too as well with the right hand. Here's that oh, head that kick that But you're right, you, the, the, it was the real left kick that came right across the midsection of, uh, of Pukac. Just seems to be bossing the fight to me, does Youngworth. Hard to say if it's effective to the point where he's winning, but out of the two, Here's that body That's shot. That's nice. I feel like, you know, he's the more dangerous. He's going to land heavier. I feel like he's getting peppered a little bit. Nice left hook there from Pukac. Pukac is varying, is varying his attack very well, going high, going low, leg kick, head kick. But it just is all kind of tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Whereas when Pukac throws, I'm sorry, when uh, Youngworth throws, it has real power in it. Close fight this one. Yeah, game of millimetres between these two. Pukac in the red corner, Youngworth it in the blue. Oof. Snapping kick there, doesn't quite connect cleanly. But he's forcing the fight, Youngworth. Even if they're not clean shots, he's, he's in there causing problems. Yeah, less shots coming back now as well. From Pukac to slow down a little bit in the second round. Flies in to the clinch. The one thing I did like, particularly from that first round from Pukac, was the timing on that takedown. He didn't establish that top position, but as the fight goes on, if he can time more takedowns like that, Youngworth potentially will get more tired and maybe he'll be able to sustain that position. Yeah, he's always got that in the bag, as he showed in the first round. But just needs to be careful of those hammers. <laughs> Snapping inside leg kick there from Pukac. We nice switch up to the left head kick. Nice variation, good feint as well. Landed a one-two as he switches into the southpaw stance. Maybe see a lover left leg come up. Oh, oh head kick from Pukac that wrapped around the head, yeah, firing no. back. Good response from Youngworth, though. Powerful underhook there. Look to just throw over Pukac. Some hives well there, because you're right, that, that kick, we saw the sweat fly off the head of Youngworth. And that only happens when it lands around the back of the head. And he was dazed for a second. A good response. Nicknamed the Celt, because he uh, studies and reads a lot about Celtic warriors, warriors that were once based in the, uh, in the town, the village that he now calls home. Really does try and summon their spirit, and you can see it. There's a true warrior in those eyes, Luke. Oof. Just relentless with the pressure, is young word. Oh, stepping in with the uppercut doesn't quite connect. But big breaths from Pukac now, you can see that, that pressure, even yeah. if the shots aren't connecting, the pressure is starting to wear. Yeah, taking its toll here. As we moved to just past the halfway point of the second round, and you can just see the demeanor of Pukac. Oh, just getting bullied at the moment. And it's got to be frustrating, right? Having no space, you're almost claustrophobic. You, you, you can't fight at your pace, you can't do what you want to. You're kind of reacting to everything rather than being the one that goes first. Especially his style as well. Pukac is, is, is very, moves a lot, throws little shots. Likes to faint, likes to be creative. Can't do that when someone's in your face the whole time. Needs to earn the respect of Youngworth. Needs to throw something heavy down the pipe. Maybe a straight right hand. But Youngworth, look how fresh he looks. And you, you talked about the injury. I was unaware that that was the case. And you would be unaware watching this fight. He looks fantastic so far. 
Oh, body shot, the dig to the body, heavy right hand as well. Yeah, really opening up now is Youngworth. I feel like his confidence is growing every moment of this fight. And he's just putting a little bit more bite in every combination now, a little bit more bite in every shot. And this is made even more impressive because of who he's doing it to. You talked about the, the hype that was with the early stages of the Pukac career, then he got the injury, but still when he comes back, he's so many years in the game, he's so much experience. And right now he's just being bullied, like you said. Yeah, Youngworth just tossing him around the cage, following him, that nice head kick there. And Pukac can do nothing oh, but this cover is, up. This, this could, could be, be close it. to a finish here. Switches it up and goes to that double leg, probably a little bit of an error there. Tactical error from Youngworth because, you know, Bukac was really covering up there. Look, looked like a defeated man. Yeah, the body language instantly changed as the, the combination came in yet again. Oh, head kick attempt. Mixing it up, head yeah. to body. Way beautiful backhand <laughs> uppercut just to change up the stance. And a little uh, smile and a wave from Youngworth in response. Mind games being played, 10 seconds left in the second round. I'd love to see the amount of shots yeah. thrown in that second round. Hopefully we get those significant strike numbers. Just yeah. the second round alone though, I don't know how many shots that were thrown by Pukac. How many times, I don't think he threw oh, whoa, 10 whoa, shots. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at this. I think he's done. They're forcing him down. I've never seen that from Robert Pukac. It looked like he wanted to walk out of the cage. He's, he's shaking his head. Oh my goodness, has Youngworth broken him with the pressure? Will he quit on his stool? Look how cool, calm and collected the Celt is, though. Oh, Ilya Skondrick getting very emotional, but you're right. Look at the opposite demeanor of that corner. This is going to be it, Luke. I can't see him. I mean, we, we, we've cut to the, the replays of the pressure that has caused this emotional response from Pukac. Yeah, I feel like he feels like he's getting suffocated in there. You know, that, that normally you see that from pressure from grappling, but it's been from the forward striking. From this moment here when Youngworth got on top, you know, every shot he threw had an absolute ferocious power in it. And Youngworth ready to go now. He's not coming out. Look, Youngworth is pacing, he's staring his man down. The referee is trying to get everybody out. This is going to be it. This could be it. They're forcing. Oh, wow. the referee stopped it. Quit on his stool. The pressure from the Celt was just too much. Robert Pukac, for the first time in his career, does not answer the bell, Luke. Incredible stuff here. Christian Youngworth wanted to prove himself, wanted to come back in here, and he wanted to show the type of fighter that he is. And what he's done is exposed Robert Pukac. And I think you'll regret that. I think was playing on the stool. I think 100 percent that's emotions and frustration, but caused by that pressure, the, the the relentless barrage of shots constantly in his face was the Celt. And you can see what it meant to him. This is a man who's turned his life around with martial arts. He said his lowest point was being in prison. From that moment, he knew to make changes in his life, and he used combat sports to do it. He felt like he hasn't had the rub of the green right now, but he's about to get it in the green form of that amazing blazer from Andre Novotny as we announce what he's been dying to hear for a very long time. You see the emotion on his face already. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's hand it to Andre Novotny. Dámy a pánové, v tomto utkání po pěti minutách druhého kola vítězí technickým KO Christian Jungwirt. Look at the emotion. Hopefully we'll get to hear from this man. Kristiane, uh, gratulace, fantastická práce. Uh, co myslíš, že rozhodlo? Protože Robo říkal, není mi dobře, uh, nemůžu dál nastoupit. Jak ty si vnímal ten zápas? Von, von meiner Seite aus, er konnte den Druck nicht mehr halten. Er hat gemerkt, dass ich die ganze Zeit auf dem Gaspedal bin und es konnte nie nicht zurecht äh, damit klarkommen. Ja. Uh, no, nedalo se to prostě uh, nějak uh, držet. Uh, to bylo uh, pod, uh, podstatné. Das... Ja, äh, ja äh, 
Ich habe einfach gewonnen, Punkt fertig aus. Scheißegal wie. Okay. Sie nennen so jemanden auf seinem. Christian, maybe in English? Yeah, maybe. A little bit. We can try. We can, we can try. We will try. We will try. Uh, that was an important match for you. And you still make the pace better, better, push more. How you feel that fight for you? This fight was also uh, short notice, but I'm Mr. Short Notice, no problem for me. And I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter with heart. Win or lose, you know, I'm here to fight and show a good, and, and show a good fight. And this was today my fight, my win. For, for my hard work every day. Every day I'm hard working for this shit. I love MMA, I love Octagon, I love you, I love you fans here in Czech Republic and Slovakia. Thank you, thank you for the, for the support and thank you for my sponsors in Germany, for all my friends, for my family. Thank you for all. Wunderbar. <laughs> so make it fight in the cage is not normal for me, but next time in Frankfurt yes. to be not... Yes, for sure. I'm in Germany. Yes, I'm fighting in Frankfurt. Okay, so we will see you in Frankfurt uh, June 4. Thank you very much, Christian Jungert. Ještě samozřejmě musíme dát prostor Robovi. Robovi, děkuji moc za zápas. Co se stalo? Ondra, od rána jsem se nějaký zobudil. Nejsou, ale nevím, že neviděl jsem se ani... No, musím niečo zmeniť v tréningu, alebo celkovo nejak mám také ťažšie obdobie, čo sa týka tohto zápasenia, že neviem, jak som odišiel od rana, som sa necítil proste vo svojej koži. A ne, ja neviem to ani presne opísať, ale musím niečo trošku zmeniť, alebo alebo čo spraviť, ja to ani neviem opísať. Moc sa ospravedlím ľuďom aj celému môjmu týmu, ktorí vo mňa verili, proste nechcel som pokračovať, lebo neviem ti to opísať, Ondro. Mám, mám, nemal som aké by motiváciu ani Neviem toto piče opísať, Ondro. Teda ospravedlím sa moc fanúšikom aj Octagon, aj všetkým ľuďom, ktorí vo mňa verili, ale nemám sa na čo vyhovárať, to tak, ako to je, nemal som proste svoj deň. A to je asi celé, ospravedlím sa moc všetkým ľuďom. Ja myslím, že sa nemáš za co omlouvať, ďakujeme moc, Robo. Je to nejtežší ulička na svete, projí do klece. Určite budeš příště zpátky, počkáme si na to. V oktagonu jsou dveře pro tebe vždycky otevřené. Diamantový čávo, dnes nikoliv úspěšný, ale potlesky pro něj.